Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. And I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for Tuesday, November the 6th, 2018. And uh, before we get started, I would like to invite you to our trading room uh, that is open every Monday through Friday from 9 to 3.30 uh, Eastern Time. It's hosted by Barry Einerson. And uh, he moderates the room, uh, you know, and he's on the mic, uh, you know, most of the day. And he, he calls out his trades. Uh, it's not the kind of room where you follow him, but, uh, you know, it's loaded with trade ideas. A lot of people are in the room that are great traders. So a lot of ideas are generated. Uh, a lot of good money is made there. And he also reviews uh, a lot about the software that we're using, uh, you know, so that if you are interested or if you are uh, currently subscribing, you can maybe learn to use it a little bit better. And as always, uh, you know, if you want to follow me uh, directly, you can do that at bullseyetrader.com. Of course, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter or Stock Twits. And if you do me a favor and hit this thumbs up, uh, if you get anything out of this video, it, it helps uh, with the algorithms to have people uh, just watch us a little bit more. So we'd appreciate that. And now we'll go ahead and get started without any further ado. And with this being Election Day, uh, you know, uh, undoubtedly uh, the results of today's election are going to cause uh, some market reaction. Uh, of course, we will not know that till late tonight, so you might want to keep an eye on the futures just to see, uh, you know, uh, what results that has. It could make for a very interesting evening. Uh, you know, if you remember on the, uh, you know, when, when President Trump was elected at first, the market came way, way, way down. And then everybody kind of figured, you know what, this isn't so bad. And then it went up. And of course, uh, the rest is history. So hopefully we can continue to make history and get this market rolling again. But here we are, the uh, Dow closed up, uh, nice green candle. We closed up above from the two days ago. Uh, we have uh, the 8 crossing the 20, which is a good sign. Uh, you know, we are still underneath the 200, so that will be the uh, next one uh, to, to go for. Excuse me, I'm sorry, that is uh, the 50 up there. The 200 is way down here. So uh, we are, uh, you know, on our way, uh, you know, looking good pending the outcome of this election. The Q's, uh, green candle, uh, you know, we had light volume today, as was expected by most people. Uh, we are above the 8, but we bounced off of the 20. So that is the next big hurdle for the Q's is to get through that 20 moving average. Uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, the spiders are above the uh you know, uh, you know the the eight and the uh, twenty and uh, you know the the two hundred kind of got lost in here somewhere in the shading and everything. But uh, we are uh, you know uh, you know looking good there uh, once again, pending the results of. Uh, you know, the election and the effect that has. IWM uh, just consolidating right here. We have a bullish engulfing candle, so uh, all is looking well there. Uh, the uh, moving averages were uh, above two and below two, so, uh, you know, things could get very, very interesting. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at Holly, see how she did. Holly Grill only had three trades today, and she made 38 cents. The risk on, she lost 16 cents. Uh, as you can see here, her best trade was 19 cents FSS. She got in it here, got out there for a timed exit. Had you stayed in it, she would have lost 42 cents. And her best risk on trade was Flow, F-L-O-W, which was uh, all, all long trades in this segment here. Got in here, got out once again for a timed exit. Uh, only a two cent gain had you held on, you would have lost a penny for the day. So not a lot of activity in Holly Grill. Holly 2.0 was a lot more active with 31 trades, but she lost a dollar sixty-eight in the risk off mode. The risk on mode though, very profitable, three dollars and sixty-four cents. And this histogram kind of shows it all where, you know, she was in the red, came in the green, pretty much zeroed out. And then the last part of the day, uh, she uh, took off very, very nice. So, uh, you know, let's take a look and see what trades went into there. 
and her best uh, trade in that category for the risk off was BE, a short trade. And you can see she got in here, made 44 cents, got out for a timed exit. But look at this, had you stayed in, you would have been a $1.78 profit. So that was a terrific, terrific trade. And uh, that was the best in both categories. Another real nice one was CYOU. Now that was a long trade going the other way. And you can see just a totally, totally opposite. So uh, Holly is able to, on a day like today, pick a trade going in both directions and be profitable. So, you know, that one there was a four cents. She got out for a time cent or a timed exit, just four cents on the risk off, but a dollar fifty eight on the risk on mode. Now we need to move these up here so we can go ahead and get a look at the Holly Neo and see how she did. And uh, on 20 trades, 71 cent profit and 97 cents was the risk on profit. Once again, BSM, a long trade, 75 cents profit. And you can see how nice that was. She got out because she hit her target of 75 cents. And uh, it wasn't long after that it pulled back. So had you stayed in until the end of the day, would have ended up with only nine cents of profit. And uh, she actually called that in two different strategies in quarterback and in count the Monet. Okay, and to count the Monet, she got out for a profit save of 13 cents on that one. And uh, had you held on, you would have made a dollar thirty-nine for the day. So uh, that was your Holly trades, and uh, you know, let me bring in the Excel spreadsheet to show you real quick here how we tallied up. We ended up with fifty-four trades for the day, fifty-nine cent loss, but the risk on mode four forty-five profit for the week. We're sitting at ninety-four trades, three fifteen profit, nine oh three risk on profit. And uh, hey, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.